What is going on guys? Grave here today. We're going to talk about the Auto Loading 8.25 Extended. I think if you're going to use the Auto Loading 8.25, the Extended variant is the best because of the larger magazine. This is a weapon that is kind of suited for closer combat, a uh, little closer quarters than most of the weapons in the Medic class, so keep that in mind if you use it. I'll give you the stats of the weapon first. I'll kind of give you my opinion at the end of the video. Uh, we're going to look at the damage and up close you have a 38 damage and a damage at a distance of 21. You have a good damage up close. Keep in mind if you are a medic, bigger maps, this is not the gun you want to use to take out medics or snipers at longer ranges. I like it on maps like this, kind of closer quarters, kind of, you know, buildings kind of moving through cover to cover. It is where it shines to me, but you get in those wide open fields, wide open areas, you can get beat by medics very, very easily and snipers. It's not a good counter sniping style weapon it is a very good close quarters weapon for a medic uh, if you like to kind of run that running gun style you're going to look at a fire rate of 359 rounds a minute you can spam this weapon pretty quickly keep in mind if you spam it too quickly your shots are going to be off target and you will get punished for that uh, I think it's a weapon that is like all the rest of the medic weapons you have kind of have to find that happy medium that that good fire rate that you can maintain with your trigger pull but not get too crazy with um, your muzzle velocity is 660 meters per second. That is a good muzzle velocity for hitting targets on the move at a distance, but this is not really a gun that you need to be shooting people on the move at a distance with, like I said. But it does have a good enough muzzle velocity to take some any enemies out, maybe at a mid-range while moving. Uh, reload from empty is 3.2 seconds. Reload with ammo left in the clip is 2.6 seconds, which is always the best, guys. I always recommend keep, keeping at least one bullet in that clip before you reload. That way you can have a faster reload and get back into the gunfight. Uh, recoil is 0 0.51 up and 0 0.3 left. Um, left and right, excuse me. It is a gun that does not recoil a lot. Of course, like these medic weapons, only time you're going to notice a lot of recoil, a lot of bloom, a lot of upward pull is if you get to spamming too quickly. And if you spam this gun really, really quick, you're going to have that upward triangle like we've talked before. Kind of think of an upside down, down triangle. It's going to kind of wobble left and right and up with you. So make sure that you're not spamming this weapon too, too quickly to kind of avoid some of that awkward recoil. Um, another thing is with the recoil is the iron sights uh, are, you know, you don't, this is not a scoped weapon. You are using iron sights. So with a distance, that recoil can also throw you off. You'll see this shot right here. I had to slow it down just a hair because of my, the recoil was kind of bouncing a little bit over his head and I was missing my shot, especially the iron sights blocking it a little bit. Um, damage at a distance. This is where the gun kind of suffers. Why I said it's more of a close quarter style medic play, uh, you know, playing a little bit of close quarters medic. This is what this weapon's made for. From 0 to 11 meters, you're looking at a 38 damage. 25 meters, it goes to a 26 damage. And out to 32 meters, you're looking at a 21 damage. That means bullets to kill. 0 to 17 meters is going to be 3 bullets. 18 to 27 meters is going to be 4 bullets. And 28 meters on out is going to be 5 bullets. I would say this is a weapon that you want to keep within that 27 meter, that 4 bullet kill or lower. So you want to be 27 meters or closer while using this weapon. That's why I said it's a good close quarters medic weapon. That's what I really, really enjoy about this weapon. It is not the weapon I would recommend for long distance combat. I can get a few long shots with it, but it's not likely majority of the time you will get beat. It looks good. It looks cool. It kind of reminds me of a weapon that you would have seen back in the late 1800s, you know, before World War One, something like a cowboy would use on a horse. You know, it's that kind of style, that kind of short carbine looking version of a weapon or a gun. And I really, really like that. And I like to be able to use it in close quarters. I like to be able to push as a medic, and that's what his weapon is made for. Guys, leave me a comment. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.